Narcissists often project superiority using complex language and gaslighting to unsettle and confuse. Engaging in debates or trying to reason with them typically proves futile. Instead, staying informed helps you see through their facade and grasp their true intentions. Knowledge becomes a powerful tool in identifying and countering their manipulative tactics. They evade responsibility by shifting blame onto others, sometimes portraying you as the one at fault. It's crucial not to internalize their accusations. Your response matters more than their blame shifting. Genuine apologies are rare for narcissists who prefer to avoid accountability altogether. Monitoring their actions over their words offers insight into their sincerity. Consistently observing their behavior helps you understand their motives and navigate interactions effectively. In a recent study, I explored the impact of silence as a response. Narcissists frequently use the silent treatment as a weapon, causing emotional We're like, hey man, saying does guy on the roof with a rifle. The subtle cues, and the police were like, oh, turn what? Allies like, against you. like they didn't know what was going Recognizing on. These you know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof, we can see from right here. And maintain inner calm. Narcissists often project intellectual superiority and use gaslighting to create doubt and confusion. And Next thing it you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Sanity, why have they not pulled him up the stage? The I'm standing there pointing at it's him not for, to get caught up you know, two, three activities. minutes. Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm vigilant. pointing at that roof, Identifying just tactics, standing there like this. And, avoiding being drawn into and next thing you know, five shots ring out. Take your, your son Sincere is the shot from that guy on the roof. hundred percent. 100%. How should you handle and he, he, was he, was he was up there for a couple of minutes. He was up there for a couple of minutes. Absolutely. At least three or four minutes. And you were telling the police. Yep. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service who were looking at us from the top of the barn. They were looking at us the whole time when we were standing by that tree. Binoculars. FBI Communications Director Anthony Guglielmi says, uh, there's an untrue assertion out there that a member of the former president's team requested additional security resources and that those were rebuffed. This is absolutely false. In fact, we added protective resources and technology and capabilities as part of the increased campaign travel tempo. An FBI statement um, talked about the ongoing incident. If anyone has additional information to call 1-800-CALL-FBI, the FBI assumed the role of the lead federal enforcement agency in the investigation of the incident, President Biden um, spoke, um, talking about lowering the temperature of our politics. Play this clip. I want to speak to you tonight about the need for us to lower the temperature in our politics. But remember, or may disagree, we are not enemies. We're neighbors, we're friends, co-workers, citizens, and most importantly, we're fellow Americans. So steer clear we must stand past. together. Once their true motives Yesterday's are shooting at Donald Trump's rally in Pennsylvania calls on behavior. all of us to take a step back. Through my experiences, take stock I've of where we are, many whose issues stem how we go forward from here. Or an Thankfully, need for control. former Trump Erected is not seriously injured. I spoke to him last night, I'm grateful. He's doing well, and Jill and I their keep him and his family in our prayers. Some are overtly we also extend our deepest condolences to the family of the victim who was killed. And Corey was a husband. A father, volunteer firefighter, a hero, is crucial for sheltering his family from those bullets. Dealing with toxic we should all hold his family when they and all those together. injured in our prayers. President Biden also talked about getting out of silos of disinformation and, and misinformation. Play the clip. Here in America, everyone must be treated with dignity and respect, and hate must have no safe harbor. Here in America, we need to get out of our silos. When we only listen chaos. to those with whom we agree, Others the misinformation is rampant, but foreign actors fan the flames of our division to shape the outcomes Trust consistent with their interests, wrong. not ours. Entrusting the wrong Let's remember here in America, our unity is the most elusive of golden goals right now. Watch Nothing is more, more important for us now than standing together. We can do this. Stay vigilant against manipulation. You know, from Avoid beginning. investing in untrusted Our founders individuals. understood the power of passion, signs of so they created democracy. Such behaviors they gave reason and balance and a chance to prevail over brute force. Impacting That's the America we must be. American democracy are arguments are made in good in faith. Mind games. American democracy, your well -being. the rule of law is respected. Your mental and physical American democracy, and where decency, dignity, fair play aren't just quite notions, but living like reality.
Your support you know helps that, others face those who come before us, to those Spread who the gave their lives in this country. We owe that to ourselves. To our support we owe it to our children and our grandchildren. How to handle a narcissist when they Let's speak to you. Says who we are. Everyone. Let's remember we Today, are the United like States of America. To an effective there is nothing, that can completely nothing, nothing beyond our capacity, capacity therapy, when we do it together. Or any type President of Biden talked about violence it's never being the answer, but the clip. And it offers a fresh must perspective on understanding people's true intentions. We traveled before throughout our history. Instead of violence has never been the answer. This but method with members of Congress and both parties being targeted and shot, by or a violent mob attacking the Capitol on January 6th, a brutal attack on the spouse of former Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, especially when dealing or with information individuals. and intimidation Narcissists on election are officials, for tendency to or the kidnapping plot agenda, against the city government, often failing or an attempted assassination on Donald Trump. And there is no place in America for this kind of violence it's crucial not for to any violence ever. Period. Instead, no exception. What they're trying to we can't allow this violence to be normalized. And, and President Biden talked people. about uh, standing for America and not extremism. Play this clip. I believe politics ought to be an arena for peaceful debate, allowing you to, to pursue justice, with them more to make decisions Let's guided by the Declaration of Independence and our Constitution. Of human we stand for an America, Firstly, not of extremism, the few, the but of decency and grace. Narcissists often All of us now face the time of testing as the election approaches. And the higher Their the stakes, the more firm the compassion becomes. This place is an added burden on each of us to ensure that no matter how strong our convictions, they we must never descend into violence. That's what we know for now. We will, of course, report more details Secondly, back to you as they as uh, become available. Narcissists um, frequently make sure you check out all of our continuing coverage here. Take a look at all the other videos we've been posting on this. And hit subscribe. And we're on our way to 3 million subscribers at this channel. Hit subscribe now. And thank you for watching. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com slash newsletter of continuity in their lives and reinforce their false identity. Number three, reinforcing grandiosity and shared fantasy. When narcissists communicate, they're not aiming for genuine dialogue. Instead, they use it as a stage to boost their grandiose self-image and shared fantasies. Rather than engaging in a conversation, they tend to talk at you, focusing on elevating themselves while dismissing your input. Their structured speech is meant to exalt themselves, portraying their false reality as truth and convincing you to buy into their distorted worldview. Number four, manipulative intent. For narcissists and psychopaths, speech is a tool for manipulation. They twist language to shape your behaviors, choices, and decisions to suit their needs. Whether it's for sex, money, power, or just attention, they aim to control you. Unlike healthy communication based on mutual respect, theirs is weaponized to dominate and subjugate others, fulfilling their desires at the expense of others' well-being. It's crucial to grasp that when dealing with narcissists or psychopaths, it's not just the words they use that matter, but the intentions behind them. Their communication is often a carefully crafted tool for achieving their goals, whether it's gaining admiration, exerting control, or manipulating others for personal gain. By understanding the motives driving their speech, you can begin to decipher their true intentions and shield yourself from falling prey to their schemes. However, it's empowering to know that you hold the key to thwarting their manipulative tactics. Armed with knowledge about their motives and familiar with their manipulation techniques, you can become more adept at recognizing and deflecting their attempts to influence you. It's vital not to allow yourself to be entranced by their charm or swayed by their persuasive rhetoric. Instead, maintain a vigilant mindset and trust your instincts to guide you away from their traps. As you prepare to conclude, it's essential to extend a reminder for viewers to engage with the content, emphasizing likes, subscriptions, and shares to broaden the reach of value information. By spreading awareness of these hacks, more individuals can from fall victim manipulation. Thank you for tuning in, and always remember, you possess the capability to navigate and overcome these challenges.
That is what basically is mindfulness in a nutshell. Knowledge about the universe. Yeah. Be safe.